Leute, herzlich willkommen zu einem weiteren Video der Firma JP Performance GmbH. Äh, jetzt muss ich ganz kurz nachdenken. Ist es das, das erste jetzt? Sag einfach Hallo, wir Hallo. machen das schon. Also, damit ihr wisst, wo ihr, viele können es glaube ich erkennen, wo wir sind. Aber wir haben und wir haben auf der, es ist Tag 2 und wir haben schon echt viele Aufnahmen gemacht von dem Ort, wo wir sind. Und wir machen so einen kleinen Intro-Porn, weil es ist wieder eine Serienzeit angesagt. Und zwar sind ich und das in Amerika. Und das ist ein sehr gutes Zeichen und wir haben vor euch so viel V8-Power und Sound in die Fresse zu kloppen, wie es nur geht. Dieses Kfz vorhin hat uns die Trommelfälle wirklich bis nach Gelsenkirchen geschossen <lacht> und wieder zurück. Echt super. Aber da das hier alles ein bisschen anders läuft, wir sind, wir sind bei den Hooligans nebenbei, ist es jetzt so, dass die Reifen weg sind. Kacke, egal. Wir quatschen mal mit den Kollegen gleich. Wir haben ganz, ganz, ganz viel vor. Wir haben für euch wirklich keine Kosten und Mühen gescheut, dass es wirklich geil wird. Es ging drum dass wir Amerika zelebrieren, wie es nur geht und wir wirklich die asozialsten Sachen euch rausgesucht haben, die es gibt. Richtig? Wobei das Amerikanische, das kommt ja noch. Richtig? Das haben wir nämlich gestern gedreht. Das ist der Wahnsinn. Ist aber auch sehr dumm, aber geil. Mhm. Also, und da das hier alles Kalifornien, also man muss sagen, in Los Angeles ist alles ein bisschen anders. entspannter. Ja, genau. Das heißt, wir haben jetzt hier zum Beispiel mehrere Sachen, die wir drehen können. Wir wissen aber nicht, womit es losgeht. Und damit einfach mal so ein bisschen Stimmung reinkommt, habe ich gedacht, machen wir einfach mal die Kamera an und provozieren dann, dass es losgeht. Wir wissen nicht, ob wir können einfach mal rübergehen. You ready now? Ja, let's do it. Why not? Oh God! Ah! Uh, that was my partner. First of all, How's it nice going? to see you. Yeah, Mike Adidas. I was very impressed on Simo, the way you drive ah. in this little lot. Thank you. No, thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm very honest. I appreciate that. Thank you I'm so very, much. No, really, really great, great, great. But this, yeah. you fucked up the car. The tires, me, my shirt, the camera, my glasses, oh, did everything. Did you guys get some of that? <laughs> And you knew it. Because yeah, every yeah. time, because er driftete gerade an der Wand da vorbei. Wir saßen da mit unseren Beinen runterhängen von der Betonmauer. And you passed by like, like you passed by like here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The problem was you stood next to her. I know. And you, you stand yeah. next to her. I'm going for that guy all the time. He said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my and guy. He, and he was, he was not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> so why is this sounding so extreme? Because what we're going to do, we're going to show the German audience the different types of V8s. Because I think, okay. we, because we don't know, like you said, LA, you know, Acres, mm -hmm. like we know BMW V8s, we know Audi and right. all, and not M60, this. 62, ex exactly, those guys. not sure. this. So, so why long tube header for sure? Because it was so crispy from the sound. Yeah, so a full stainless exhaust. One of the big things that's different on my car is I went with a high compression V8 instead that's of That's why a it starts like that. Turbo instead of a supercharged motor. All motor, naturally aspirated, 14 to 1 compression. 14 to 1? Yeah. What kind of gas? Just E85. Really? Mm -hmm. really? Yeah, from the pump. And this is how much power? This makes 620 at the tire. It sounds like 1000. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, but here it is. It's uh, so it's built by my boys over at CBM, uh, tuned by my buddy. Uh, proper uh, OG tuning. It's OG a, tuning. Yeah. That's cool, right? Proper OG tuning. Yeah, yeah. Proper OG tuning. <laughs> yeah, he does a great job. So it's a standalone ECU, right? Yes, this has an Mtron in it. Okay. So it runs on an Mtron, which is an Australian ECU. Yeah, he did all the things. He did the really cool, nice uh, rev limiter cut. So it's got it the sounds... machine gun rev limiter, is what we call it. I'm you pretty know, sure you can, you can show it one more time to us. I can show you the limiter. You want to see the limiter? That's a little bit of tire left. A little bit of tire left. A little. I can do a donut or something. Yeah, well, wait, wait. I'll give you something. Before, before, something. before we do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So, this is an, you have to explain from really from the beginning. This is an LS. So this is based off of a Chevy. LS3. It's a Chevy block. Chevy. Right. So it's a Chevy LS3, but this is the LSA block. The LSA is an LS3, but it's the... Uh, supercharged block. So the aluminum's a little bit different, the walls are a little bit thicker. Okay. So we can throw all the compression at it and it'll hang on. Because it's you, also take got the, oil you take the boost off. All the boost comes in. out, the whole thing's redone. So, so how much cylinder. money is, is only only the engine? Without ECU, only the block. Just a moment. I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, it's yeah. probably around 20. That much. 15 to 20,000. I have also been driving this motor for three years, beating the hell out of it too. And if it's nicht, this guy, it looks like he doesn't like cars. <laughs> no, because on Simo, mm -hmm. you've seen so many guys doing that. 
Yeah. Every time you came out, you would think, what's wrong with this guy? Man. Yeah, yeah. Do you think uh, the scar owes me money or something? Which yeah. it kind of does. <laughs> it kind of does, to be honest. Let, let's try to, to get the rest out of the tires later. Yeah. So let's say around 20 for this. What kind of gearbox is that? Uh, so this has a G-Force four-speed. So it's a dog box. Okay. Traditional H-pattern four-speed. They're just hard to break. They're that's, really that's hard to break. That's good for you then. Right. But the whole car is... Yeah, but I try. <laughs> I've tried a lot. Yes. Um, I've been lucky enough to only have to change oil. In my motor, in my differential, in my Sparks. transmission, spark plugs every like year or so. So you can really just try oh, yeah. to try to kill it. And yeah, I mean it's built with quality parts, right? A lot of time has gone into specking it, making sure all the measurements are right, and then we're putting really good parts in it as well. And if you do all those things, you keep it cold, you keep it lubricated. There's no so reason it'll break. The rods with the high compression. Mm -hmm. What kind of rods? Are mm, I think that they're Eagle rods. So eight hundred dollar rods. Something like probably twelve. Probably 1200 bucks. Around, yeah. Yeah, somewhere around there. And then CP pistons or something. It's so been high so compression. long, spec, spec pistons. I think it's called Spec is the name of the company. Yeah, Spec. But yeah, yeah, Spec. It's yeah. like in, by the beach somewhere. I don't know. So this, this is how they talk. <laughs> no, this is how, because in yeah. Germany, we know these brands. Yeah. And you say, well, so they, they about, they, they down the road by, by the beach somewhere. Down the beach. You'll find a piston shop by the beach. Those guys did them. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, so CBM uh, and Josh West specced out everything. Okay. So Josh is a madman. He built um, engines for Ultra 4. Did you see Ultra 4? No. King of Hammers? No. That's an American event. You got to see that. It Where's just that? passed. Uh, Johnson Valley. But it's big four-wheel drive Jeeps that do like 100 no, we across went, we the went, we went to yesterday. That's American. That's pretty American. <laughs> Boy, man. That it was, is very, yeah. That was, that's American. Right that was there. American. Right I'll there. tell you what, big blocks, big tires. It was so American that we were standing for one hour like this. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what are they doing? So how much cubic, how much liters are that then? No, high compression can be. That's 6.9. So it's like an LS7 is a 7.0. This is a 6.9, so it's just one under. But we started this engine at a 6. 6.2. Mm -hmm. So we punched it out to a 6.9. I see the alignment. So what differs in the rear then? Uh, winters. Have you ever seen those? Those are American too. I'm serious. They're American. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. So it's a, uh, oh man, 11 inch ring gear, I think. The this little thing on the side, I guess this is an exhaust. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's my exhaust. <laughs> so full stainless, straight pipe. And then the winter's diff is pretty cool because it has an input shaft on the front side. And then a shaft comes to the back. Okay. There's a spur gear, and then another spur gear, and then there's a traditional differential, like a ring and pinion. Sounds to me that it would like to break. No, because the back, so what happens is that back cover, that black one, you pull it off, take the gears off, flip them around, put it right back on, and the car's completely different. You can change the gearing in like two minutes if you have all your tools set up. And it's hot. You can, you can be done it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's guys running 1,000 horsepower through these, 1,200 okay. horsepower. So overall, how much money do we see here? We did the retail on this car with the labor, the fab work, all of this stuff. Um, I think it was around 112. 112. That's why sponsors are so important. If you can get good partnerships, yeah, yeah. then the car comes way down to like 20,000 or something to build. If you can get parts uh, flown to you or, or float to you, rather. I mean, it makes sense in your case because you know what you do. It looks like it. Sure. I've seen, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen many guys play around, but this looks not too bad, though. Yeah, and no, I mean, the car's set up. We've, I've been in a, a E36 for a few years, and then I jumped into another 46 for a few years, and then this this 46. So this okay. is my third E chassis, what they call them here in the States. Okay. This is my third E chassis, so. Can we, can we open the, yeah. the rear? Yeah, just kind of, yeah, there you go. So it's just a fiberglass, little doohickey, and then there's all the important stuff. So you have two two batteries for weight distribution, 10 gallon radium fuel cell, which is like... No, radium is pretty good. Amazing. It's amazing. We have it also on GTR. Zero problems. It just works. Also the quality, the way it's made. So good. It looks, yeah. Yeah, it's American, right? It's American. <laughs> Made in Washington. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Not at the beach. American. Not at the beach. The no. northern northern beach. It feels like it feels like this this video yeah, series can <laughs> this video series can't or does this video series with American. So this is America. This is America. America. That's American. And, and um, you you are American. Yes. yes. First generation. First generation. But yes, American. Okay, American. Also made in America. Okay. Uh, and then my radiators back there. Uh, laid flat in the back seat. And how do you really push air? So I have a fan on the bottom, it pulls air down. That's enough. So air comes in here, rolls in, 
pull it down to the floor. So how much how much really hard run time can you give on, on a setup like this? Like two solid runs. That's how many minutes? Mm, I don't know. The laps are pretty short in Formula Drift. They're probably like 30, 40 second laps and then no, probably less than that. Probably get like 40 seconds out of this car to a minute. I could upgrade the cooling system and make this thing run all day, but for the sake of like spacing and how we wanted to package it, we built it to run two laps and then... So yeah, because when, when I look at it, general, everything in Ford is from here to here. Nothing in the back. And Nothing back weight here. is there mm -hmm. and weight is there. Yeah, we tried to keep all the weight on top of the back tires yeah, and yeah, then yeah, all yeah. the other weight in front. So yeah. I don't think I don't think I've ever had this car corner balanced, but I would argue that it's probably like 54 rear, 40, whatever that is, six mm. front. Uh, it's probably somewhere around there. It's it's pretty pretty well built. We thought about a lot of the things we were gonna do to it, and okay. we had already started kind of working with radium prior to building this car, so we knew the things we wanted to get. With the Formula Drift cars, it's becoming pretty cut and dry. You have a big motor that makes a ton of power, or some type of dog box or a sequential, a winter's quick change, and then pick your poison for a suspension and angle kit. There's not a lot of innovative stuff. You guys in Europe though, you guys are messing with the seven speed DCTs now. Exactly. That I stuff's drove, bad. You know, you know the Drift Brothers? The yep. Red Bull? Yep, the Red Bull yeah. guys. Yeah, I drove this car and I also did the, the body kit. Mm. The exhaust. The, the, nice. Yeah, right. So. Oh, the M4s. Yeah. Yeah. You the like M4s. that? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah like the yeah. exhaust out the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love see? that. I love that. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, that was my idea. And, Sick. Yeah, they put but this car looks way more American. Yeah, well, they give us rules, right? So, like, they look American. America gives you rules? <laughs> Uh, okay, so, <laughs> so, form, so Formula Drift, Formula Drift makes you build within a certain spec. So okay. like exhaust out the roof, sick, can't do that. Why? Ours has to come out right where the rear axle is. That's why mine's as short as it is. But why? Because, because there's somebody in Formula Drift who's making all the rules. Ooh. Don't do this, do this, don't do that, use this, use that. I thought, I thought it's no, a No, European drifting is, is amazing. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. You guys have like the stadium stuff you guys do. That's like my dream. So it's not this high speed, crazy Dragon Wall, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That stuff's cool, but like the tight technical stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love. It's easier. It, uh, it's more technical. Less fear, less less risk, yeah, but a lot more technical driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not so fast. It's still fast, very fast. Yeah, though. but not so fast. Not as fast. No, 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 right, right, right. no. It takes okay. time. time. I would say we, we put this back on and then, because we reden die ganze Zeit drüber. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> no, I'm just saying we, 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 <laughs> we talk all the time about it and I'm smiling all the time because I know how it sounds and how it moves, but they don't know. Yeah. We so. make the video more American. Yeah. Now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Lock it in here. <laughs> I like that. I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, we can do a donut or two. Where are you gonna stand? Where do you want me we to don't stand? Tell you. <laughs> I'll find you. Do you want me to stand in the middle? If you stand on the outside, then I can give you some exhaust notes. If you stand in the middle, then okay, you hear all the pulls. You don't hear none of the. Okay, that makes sense. We'll do that. <laughs> you don't want none of that. No, we will stand in there. Um, wenn er gleich anmacht, hört man, wie schwer der Motor startet. Das liegt daran, weil er so hoch komprimiert ist. Ne? Du merkst mm -hmm. gleich. Also, das Problem ist, wirklich, tut mir so leid, dass wir es nicht mehr zeigen konnten, weil er vorhin einfach innerhalb von einer Minute den Reifen doppelt weggekocht hat. Das ist der letzte Rest vom Schützenfest gewesen. Aber es ist so laut, das sagt selbst ich, der wirklich nie seine Ohren zuhält, dass du wirklich Schmerzen hast. Oder? 
Ja, ich auch gerade. Also in dem Moment, wenn der durchlädt und der Limiter kommt, tut es weh. Ja, ich bin auch so ein bisschen paniert gerade noch so. Ja. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. I don't know what you said, but I know what that means. That's a good time. No, but you would say that this car would perform pretty well then in the German series, right? Oh, I would love to take this to a smaller track. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. The big formula drift stuff, this is a little underpowered. I'm playing catch up. And for anybody who drifts, if you're playing catch up. Yes. Yeah, you're losing. Fun. Yeah. So this in like a stadium setting. The closest we've had here in the States to what you guys have is Jersey. Have you seen new Jersey track? No. Figure eight on a drag strip. Yes. And there's stadium seating on both sides. I love it. Because you're like, the fans are there. And then the fans are here. And then they're there. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. you're like, ah. It's so, it's so much fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> America. But... Yeah, this thing actually, uh, it does really good at that track. It's not a big, long stretches and all that. So it's a lot tighter, more technical. So okay. maybe I'm just scared. I don't maybe I so. like technical driving. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it was really hey. a pleasure to see you. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget it. So, we go now to the next Auto. We check out the donk now. Oh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> you think this is crazy? <laughs> That's another level. Also, jetzt gucken wir uns das nächste amerikanische Auto an. Da sind auch noch Reifen drauf. Ich weiß aber nicht, was wir damit machen können. Weil ihr werdet gleich sehen, das ist nochmal ein ganz anderes Level an Verrücktheit. Aber was halt für mich immer wieder Geiles und Schönes zu sehen, ist halt einfach das Spaßlevel und die Verrücktheit, die hier ist. Und wie locker sie mit sich selbst umgehen. Und das, das ist eine Sache, die, die, die bei uns nicht so wirklich vorkommt. Boah, ich glaube, also, glaub, wir sind ganz gut dabei. Wir sind gut dabei, ja. weil wir einfach drauf scheißen gefühlt aber trotzdem professionell sind. Mehr oder weniger. <lacht> komm, wir gehen rüber, komm, 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 komm. I just explained to the people in Germany that you are a living American flag. Oh, I don't know if that's a good thing. Is that a, I hope that's a good thing, man. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, we get some no, bad press around the world sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you do? I, you know, yeah, you know. I don't know. I lived in Europe for a year, man. And it you was did? Not a, yeah, I lived in Amsterdam for a year. It was not a good time. It was 2006, man. People were not liking Americans. <laughs> The thing about you is, you can see that you're American. Yeah, you, you pretty just, blatant. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> I didn't wear the cowboy hat today, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a little more toned down, but you know. Yeah, you, t today you, you could be an European guy with the glasses. The glasses are the fancy glasses, but you're 100% American. Absolutely. So what we got here? Okay, well this is a uh, very middle American type vehicle. So this is a 1978 GMC Jimmy. It obviously has been left in a desert for about 30 years. You, as you can tell, the top is roached. It's got a nice crash patina. Yeah, you know, uh, but this is the way that I like it because it doesn't matter if it gets messed up. And, you know, it feels like an old truck. The only thing is that everything underneath is new. So. And how much power is that? Oh, well, Here, we can pop the hood. Yeah, yeah, Start absolutely. If you don't mind. Here. Jetzt pass auf. Jetzt pass auf. Ja, ich habe ich hab gesehen, ich bin ja relativ oft hier, wie er mit All Allrad-Drifts macht mit dem Ding, auf dem Hof. So you're normally doing all-wheel-drive drifts on this lot, right? Yes. With this thing. With this, yes. And the, the stock car is absolutely not able to do that at all. No, because they, don't, they didn't make much power from the factory. Uh, this has a lot more power. So it's still streetable and it's it's a really mild setup for what it is, but it is a 572 cubic inch or 9.3 liters if you're European <laughs> uh, V8. Now it's it's quite low compression for you know something. What, what, what means low for you? Uh, 10 to 1. Right? Oh, it's okay. Because we don't have, I mean, in California, we only have 91 octane, but the idea was to build something that I could take across the country and drive. And so when I first broke this in, I took it on a 3,000 mile road trip to. And how many times you visit the gas station? Uh, well, very frequently. <laughs> Every single day I drive it, at least once. Really, eh? Yeah, it only gets, like, on the highway, if it's cruising. It'll do six miles to the gallon. Uh, around town, maybe. Oh, wait! 
You can just pass that point. Six miles? Six. Uh, it's a big, thirsty boy. <laughs> I mean, it, the cylinders, like, they're so big that it, you just have to have that much fuel in order to keep the air-fuel ratio balanced, Yeah, you have right? to put in. And that's why I didn't want to go nastier, because, you know, you get crazier with these, they'll make a lot more power. Like, with a way bigger cam and a bigger intake, uh, I could easily do 100 more horsepower all day long. But it'll just drink way more gas. Mm -hmm. So it, there was a delicate balance. And plus, it already makes way too much power for what this is. Like, I mean, this suspension is all crap stock. So, sorry, what, what, what I want to tell the, the people is more about these engines. So this okay. block is yeah. actually pretty much like this block. No, no, not whatsoever. Very different. So this is what would be referred to as, um, if we're using like the base block that it was based off of, is a Chevy big block. So the actual dimensions of it are far larger than like an LS-based engine. Okay, okay. Uh, this is a Dart performance block. So it's a Dart big M block, right? So uh, it's got priority main oiling. It's got three oil ports uh, for the uh, cam bearings, okay. right? The three oil galleys for the cam bearings. So uh, it's made to ref and make a little more power. Oh, significantly more. And so basically like the, uh, the iron that's used in these blocks, far superior than anything that's used kind of like in a manufacturer, like a, you know, like Chevy or, you know, Ford or, in, okay, uh, got it. you know, Audi using a, like an, an iron block, just, just because like they can, you can do that. But the, the cost of that block is a lot more expensive. So how much money are we talking about here? It's really not bad for what this is. So like, <laughs> this is like riding like, like 15 grand, you know? Which for a performance motor is not. No, that's bad, nothing. Right? Nothing. So my- it's, it's, it's completely, not a modification. So 15, I have nothing, and with 15, I have the block. No, the engine. 15, you have this entire setup. With the manifolds. Just the engine. Because they look, they, look, they look pretty nasty. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're okay. They're so, nice. So 15, and how much horsepower is that? So it's very mildly tuned, remember. Right, so it makes 733 horsepower and 733 foot-pounds of torque. But the good thing about Wait, a big block, mildly, my, mildly you, tuned. You, you, get, you get so used to it. You're talking to little German guys, boys. Okay, 730 uh -huh. horsepower in yes. this. Yes. America. The torque is the important thing, right? Because torque is what moves you. Horsepower is great and all, yeah. right? But uh, this is not setting any land speed records, right? It's all about how much power can be made or how much torque can be made almost immediately and then consistently. So this is a very flat torque curve. Uh, it makes right off idle 650 foot pounds. So as soon as that gas is started, so it just- Kills tires. Absolutely. So it does move quite quick. The gearbox in this is a, the, it's built by a place called Gearstar Performance. Uh, it's essentially a 4L85E transmission that's been completely reworked. So the 4L85E is uh, a transmission that you would essentially get in like a Supers. diesel truck. Also, the, the L, you mean LH400? No. no. But you know the ones that I mean, right? Uh, this is track, this track gearboxes that they use sometimes. Okay, yeah, so no, this is way different. different. This is just an automatic truck, you okay, know, okay. Uh, transmission. But the beauty is it can take a lot of abuse, right? So this trans is built to take about 2,000 foot-pounds of torque, Wow. right? And as long as you keep it cool, which, you know, I have like an external cooler with a fan on it that runs constantly, uh, never have to worry about overheating the transmission, especially when it's locked in four-wheel drive and, you know, all four tires are spinning. Uh, would you say this could maybe fit into a 200 SX? No? Uh, maybe with some cutting. Yeah, but it would. Yeah. yeah you okay. can make anything fit in anything. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Just how, how dedicated are you to making your project work? I am a, I am a lot. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, I would say, it, why, 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 just turn it on maybe. Yeah, of course. See, best thing about America. What's, what's that? Oh, that's for the fuel injection. Mm. Yeah, it's like a Holly, it's a real simple Holly sniper kit. So little standalone mm -hmm. injection, that's it. Yep, that works.
dass die Reifen das auch so mitmachen, ne? I'm so impressed about the tires. The tires can handle that shit. They look, they look, they look happy. Yeah, uh, maybe. I don't know. Some, some might be broke, but like in the rear end, like as, as I was backing up, it's going clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> Oh, when you're here, you always hear some shit going on, no matter where, in the building, outside of any front of the building, all everywhere. Oh, yeah. So this is crazy. Yeah, it's fun. It's, <laughs> you, you, can, you can feel that the little car is really absolutely fighting to not fall apart because the engine is way too strong. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, that, that should not be in that truck. <laughs> you, think, you can think you can break out the engine? Oh, I mean... Because it's, it's an old chassis. It's, uh, it's, yeah, actually, I, I did. When I was first building it, the very first time I fired it up uh, and let it warm up, I was just kind of like running it through heat cycles, and I blapped the throttle real hard, yeah. and it broke the cross member, so the yeah. whole thing fell. So I had to actually do like a <laughs> tubular cross member in it to restabilize everything. So yeah, I did. It did break it, so, actually, right out of the gate, because I think it was already cracked because it was old. But you don't have fit anymore. I can see that. Now you, you, you're good with it. It's good. I mean, you know, she's been shaken down a lot, so. Okay. Okay, that's, <laughs> you, you, that's never been only time. Oh. So we have this guy here. He was in a few videos, I guess. So yeah. Far, yeah. The people know you now in Germany. Do they? Yeah. The attractive American. And the whole you thing. Show him? Yeah. Should we show him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like okay. That's enough. That's yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But the whole thing about this series is this America. Hey guys, Vin from Hoonigan, and we have real American here today. We had we had a lot of American stuff so far, but this is like a subculture of America. Yeah, this is like the South America kind of style. It's called a donk. Basically what that means is it's a, it's a 71 Caprice and it's got 26s. <laughs> but what we did was- For handling, right? For handling. We made Rotiform, actually custom made us these wheels. And what we wanted was we were like, we're all Euro car guys. So we were like, we need a BBS RS. Yeah. But we made a 26 inch BBS RS. <laughs> so Rotiform came, they made these, they're fully forged 26s, which is hard for tires. Uh, but yeah, this thing. I, I mean, I can imagine how this drives. I mean, 26 inch wheels on a, the, the Caprice itself drives like shit. Yeah, so it drives horrible. And uh, if you look at the front camber, it's got a ton of positive camber because it's lifted so high. You actually can't, we can't really correct it out. You can, but it's a lot of money. Yeah, and this has, we did a frame off. We bought this car 100% stock off eBay. And how much? It was like 11 grand. Oh, that much? Okay. Because oh, they're straight. You know, pretty body was pretty good. It was brown with a brown top. It was disgusting. Oh, it was brown interior. Not like that. It was no, like no, uh, no. 19, you know, like, yeah. that brown. Yeah, horrible. So Shitty brown. Yeah, so we frame offed it during the pandemic. The, all the guys worked on it, welded the frame on this thing, fully boxed the frame. Uh, we sent it out to K&N and they did a carbon fiber roof. It's a little wavy, but it came out pretty good. It's fully custom carbon roof. And, uh, and then we painted it Brian's Audi color with some more metal flake. <laughs> but this is what you guys want to talk about. So how much liter is that? Uh, I don't know. It's a 540 cubic inch. That is 8.8 .8 liters. 8.8 .8 liters okay? without the blower. Yeah. So, so more with the blower. How much power are we talking about here? All right. So 540 dart block, 12 to 1 compression. 12. 12 to 1 with the blower. With the blower. With the blower. As a whole for this, yet now it's getting interesting. Yeah. So it's it's a high compression engine. High compression engine with a blower. And how much boost does the blower make? It's not much, like 8 to 10 pounds, but it's an 871. So it's a lot of volume. Yeah, a lot of volume of air going through that thing. So it's now 1,000 and... We never dynoed it, um, but for, it's... we would... 1,300 horsepower, probably. Yeah. Yeah, on C16, so race gas. Yeah. Yeah. What's inside now? Race gas. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. because of, of the compression, <laughs> yeah. you need it. America. You need it. It's like, you know, it's probably still cheaper than gas. It's probably cheaper than pump. So it's got aluminum heads. It's got Holly EFI. Um, I got NOS. It's got direct port nitrous injection. Important. Yeah, we haven't ever sprayed it, but it looks cool. So we, it is all plumbed. The problem is you can't get any traction down. I mean, do you, the tires, you know, they're not a real slick. So there's no, there's no power there, but, but yeah. But it has a license plate so we can drive it. Yeah, it also, I don't know if it's still hooked up. No, it's not, damn it. What? 
You used to have air conditioning. It's got a full vintage air <laughs> air conditioning setup in it. But uh, look wait, like wait, 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 wait. America. The AC is important, right? AC is important. It gets hot here and you're yeah. always in traffic. So it's got a 4L80 from Gearstar. So it's a built 4L80, four speed automatic uh, with an electronic valve body that's controlled by the computer. You could cruise this thing on the highway and then- Wait, I cruise it, I cruise it on the highway. I mean, it's gonna be terrifying. A, a cop pulls up next to you. The cop is in a good mood. He would say what? Oh, the beauty. This is a 1971. It's pre-smog. So in California, we have smog. So your car has to pass emissions in order to be road legal and be registered. Pre-1974, no smog. Okay. So you can do, this is 100% road legal. I'm driving without a hood. This is a problem? No problem. No problem. You and I have a blower that is nearly as high as the roof? Is that a problem? No. No. So California, very, very strict on emissions, no safety. They don't check seat belts. They don't check anything inside. They only check emissions. So other states, so I'm from New York, which is on the other side of the country. Oh, is it? Yeah, <laughs> they do, just for the people out there. They know, know that. No, because because of you know because of East and West Coast music and all they know that. Oh, okay. We don't have a good education system out here, so you know. <laughs> America. <laughs> America. <laughs> there we have safety inspections. So they make sure your turn signals work, your seat belts are in place, all mm -hmm. that. And yeah. as long as you don't have a check engine light, it passes. Here, it's emissions, but then this is just like fine. Like doesn't matter. <laughs> oh nice color though. Yeah, like, it's great. Then no one's even gonna check it. You don't even have to bring it anywhere. Really? There is, I, I could be wrong, but I had a 69 truck and there was never an inspection. You just pay registration. That's and then it. drive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's fire this up, man. But you gotta look at the interior on this thing. For yeah, you. yeah, yeah. You got full peanut butter leather interior mm -hmm. with the leather wrap roll cage. Yeah, it's a very important thing. Yeah. And then we got- combination with the carbon fiber roof. Yeah. And then we got the color match stitching to match the- uh, The outside color. Match the outside. And here, vintage air controllers. So you got your air conditioning controller there. All your de uh, Dakota digital gauges. Um, yeah, so it's like, a, it's a nice car. Retro. Yeah. Power windows, power locks. It's not bad. We can take this car now and drive down the road. Yeah, we could go cruise it. Let's do it. Seems like a fuel pump problem. Uh, it gets a little shy when famous people are around. You know, he's, no, so, no. he's so handsome and famous. And yeah, America. We leave That's money, money, money on the ground. <laughs> it grow, we grow money. Yeah. <laughs> His pennies just come up from the asphalt. <laughs> yeah. So, also, so we just aus, we laufen hier lang, cruisen hier lang, chillen. Da hinten ist ein 1300 PS Donk, der nicht läuft. The Eagle explodieren wird. So the Camaro drives. Travel halfway around the world to just take a walk through Compton <laughs> on a nice afternoon. With a handsome guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what, a, what, a, what an adventure. And Vin. And Vin. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> okay, let's get weiter im Text. So we have this beauty. Another car. This Another one, car. This one started up with a battery. It did? Yeah. We moved it here, so I heard it. Yeah. Also, it hört sich. Is it the loudest auto bis jetzt? With Abstand? Well, you max when it starts, you feel it rumble. Oh, yeah. This is, this thing is a lot. So, 632. 632. It's in liters. So, this, yeah, oh, yeah, I don't know. Do the math. 10.35 liters. 10.35 liters. So, 10 liter Hubraum. Crate motor. Crate engine. You just buy this. What? It comes like this. So, this car is actually Chevrolet Performance's development vehicle from when it was new. So, they, came up with parts for the big block 
when it was new and we did this project for SEMA 2021 yeah. and they gave us their development car and this motor. So you buy it? So this is their- Running? Yeah, this is their Crate 632. 1,000 horsepower on pump 91. So that means ECU, mapping, injectors, everything included? No, that's, so, okay. that's motor uh, intake manifold, air filter to oil pan. 1,000 mm -hmm. horsepower, drop it in. Because it depends on the guy who maps it, a thousand, yeah. to get 1,000. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, they've, they made it on like pretty regular parameters, but it just doesn't come with an ECU. But the fuel rail also. Yeah, it comes with everything. The only thing that we changed on this is the air filter, because we wanted something that looked a bit more like... Racy. Racy. So that's a custom carbon it, fiber k and It thing. does? It does. Yeah, it does. It does. It looks better. Yeah. So yeah, this car we built for Chevy Performance for, uh, for SEMA 21. We designed the body kit with them. Uh, so this is all, it's really subtle, but it's all custom. Custom front bumper, splitters, side skirts, rear diffuser, rear wing, the hood. Everything it looks old school components. modern. It, yeah, it, it we didn't. It doesn't look too old. It doesn't. We look didn't too want new. to do the like wide body everything at SEMA. We wanted to keep it kind of chill. So we designed this, this spoiler. And then we got, you know, the diffuser with a custom Hoonigan logo in there. It was all 3D printed. Okay. And then made a mold out of that and then painted it, put it on the car. So th there's a license plate on it. Yeah, that's not a real license plate. Okay, we okay. make those. Okay, good. But it's got a full four link that goes through the... Uh... What does it mean? Uh-oh. Yeah. Maybe we won't show this. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> America. You can see the suspension going through the car. So a four link means it has four arms that go to the top and the bottom and the rear end that control it as it articulates to keep it straight. So it's very drag race oriented. So to go straight. No wheel hop, it keeps the axle exactly where you want it to be. G-Force, GSR, dog box, four speed, like a, like a NASCAR. Um, Somebody ever really drove it? Yeah. On, on, the track? on the track? No, not on the track yet, but we've, you know, we've taken it out and put it down like our airstrip and stuff. It's fast. There's no rear tire to hold this thing down because it makes so much torque. But if a company produces that, so they are customers for it. Yeah. What tire should I use to... Cause so I... this car's not tubbed. It's factory rear, uh, rear like wheel housings. So you could tub uh -huh. it and fit and a bigger tire, tires. put like a drag radial on it. These are just a uh, Falcon RT660. So it's a good street tire, but for, you know, almost a thousand foot pounds of torque, it's just not doesn't, yeah, it's not hooking up. And it's light, the car is really light. And, 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 and how much is an engine like that? 25,000 US. And it's complete? Complete. But no ECU? No ECU, no transmission. How much, 20? 25,000. So you can buy a Holley EFI for another 1500 bucks and then put whatever transmission behind it and drop this in your car. And have a thousand and go rip, speed. yeah. I gotta ask a stupid question. That's a big block again, right? Yes, this is okay. a big block. This is their newest Gen 6 big block. And this is on race gas, ethanol right now, but you could run it on 91. So- And obviously no headers. So you gotta build your own headers. These were pretty challenging to fit. So we have big inch and three quarter primaries that yeah, we had to that. kind of snake in through the, uh, the frame rails. It's pretty mm -hmm. tight, but- uh, I mean, it makes it sound really crazy. And the flywheel on this thing is super light, so you hear I how hear it revs. That. Yeah, let's give it some revs. This thing sounds. It's it's so wirklich geht in Deckung. Ich hoffe, dass der Sound das irgendwie das Mikro ist irgendwie hinkriegt. Das ist wirklich geil jetzt. Also es ist wirklich krass. <lacht> Don't crash it, this body kit's expensive. 
<laughs> yeah, but w w one small question. You, you can't use it. For what? I mean, that's even too loud for here. Yeah, this has no mufflers. This is just X-pipe and out. And out. Yeah, it could use some mufflers. Yeah, it can. It could really use some mufflers. It's <laughs> deafening. That, that, that's too loud. Yeah. It, like, it hurts your brain. And the whole car gives you like a like a massage because it's just like <laughs> solid mounted V8. You know, that, that's the first time while I'm doing this channel where I know that the audience who's watching it has no clue how it is. No, you feel this car. Like when it starts, you're it, you're wearing yeah, it. Man. You're yeah, just yeah, yeah. You're Check this out. Check this out. You see that? Is that a sound warning? Yeah. It says too loud. The watch says <laughs> it's not good for your ear. You're gonna have to get that recalibrated for yeah. America. <laughs> No, I mean, we planned this trip to, to, to check these things out, but it's, it's... It's a lot. We like to overdo it that, that's, in America. That's too much. Yeah. It's too much. It's a lot. Do people make bigger blocks than that? I, I think mean, this is like the biggest. This is definitely like the biggest. They, there's probably some like pro mod drag race cars that have like 700 inch blocks, but that's like no water jackets, like just full yeah, yeah, yeah. drag so race stuff. As far as like a production engine, I think this is the biggest. I could be wrong, but I think it's the biggest. To make a thousand horsepower on pump gas somewhat reliably, considering they just sell it, uh, it's pretty damn impressive. And in a day where we're focusing on electric vehicles, this is cool. Okay, let me uh, let me let me see how this yeah. performs. Just uh, don't crash it. No, drive it around the, the lot real quick and just feel the brakes. Because two things: one, the pedals are positioned really stupid, so like, okay, the brake is really far over and it feels kind of bizarre. But it feels real. I just By noticed it. it. I just noticed it when I drove it. Okay. No, just make sure it breaks. Yeah. Okay. Because I noticed it driving over here. The pedal for manual pedals feel very soft. Okay. So just make sure. First. You come with me. Yeah. That sounded nice. It sounds amazing, and to, for a German guy to feel that is something what we don't know. So you don't have you not driven many like V8 cars before? Of course, but it's 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 a direct injected Audi, right, BMW, right, right. and they make thousand three hundred newton meters, thousand four hundred newton meters. Yeah. They're way stronger than that. So they're more modern. They have no more power. They make a thousand HP easy, turbocharged. Yeah, four liter, small things high technology things. So is this your first time driving like an old yeah. school grunty V8? Yeah, yeah. How do you like it? It, it, it? It's fear. Right, it's so violent. Mm. Because you, you told me don't don't crash it. I have this little spot here. There's no, as Leute, that's not, not a lot of room. There's no brake. No. No, there, there is a brake, but you have to, like on a bicycle, you have to pull it and then you- Like come to a stop. Come to a stop. The, the fear that this gives you and it's, it's so loud and it's so mean that it reminds you how crazy it is when you're doing it. Like, you can't just zone out and be like, just drive. You're like, no, oh, no, this no, thing no, no. sounds pissed you off. You drive with the car. Yeah. The car talks to you all the time back and says, be careful, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> be careful, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> and a BMW gives you, I'm here, but I'm sleeping. You do, you do your let thing. Me know. You, you do let, your thing. Yeah, you, you do your thing. You let me know when you need me and I'm there, but if in the meanwhile, I'm somewhere down there. This, <laughs> this is really there all the time. Yeah, it's instant throttle. Like when you hit it, straight to rev limiter. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you didn't hear it? No, no, it was, it was a little in on front the, of Just it. on the kick. Yeah. Just on the yeah, kick. On the kick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I thought I want something like this, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's so impractical. You can't do anything with this. Okay, unless you're I, Zach. I explain it differently. You have a Cessna plane, and a friend of you says, you know what? I got a 747 engine. 
jet engine. You wanna put it in? Yeah. And your friend with the chest and says, yeah, man, you got two? Yeah, I got four. On the wings. Yeah, and you put four of the engines on a chestnut, and then you go fly. That'd be fun. Do people do that? No. You should do an engine swap in a plane. Uh, I will show you a video later on my phone. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Please tell me you put a VR6 in a plane. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but this is... Um, I thought I wanted, but after this, this is too big. Yeah. Like probably for a show, for a dyno. Half, half the horsepower would be like perfect. Yeah, right. Yeah, maybe a bushing between the motor mount and the body, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would probably make it. And a brake. Perfect. And a, yeah. You need to bleed them. That's all you need to do. Yeah. Because there's too much air in them. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. They worked last time we moved it. Maybe standing too much? Probably maybe boiling the brakes doing burnouts. Yeah, that's good. Probably, be. yeah. Then yeah. always nice seeing you, JP. Always nice. We'll see you see in you Germany. Germany soon. But it's still a secret, right? Yes. Okay. Or tell them. Bye -bye. Tell them. Hmm. Tell them to submit cars for it. You no? can tell them. Yeah. 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 You sure? Yeah. Tell them. We don't care. The whole idea? Yeah. We're going to come do this first that. If you want to bring your car on there, Contact send, them us. To, send them to well, Florian. He deal with it? Fabian. Fabian deals with it? Who yeah. wants to deal with it? No, we we go <laughs> No, we will make No, we will make we will make we will make a separate email address. Okay. Where we Here. call it this versus that at jp minus performance.de. <laughs> And you can send your cars, but it has to be a fast car. Fast or unique. Quick, but like cool. You know, something mm -hmm. that we don't really want like, and nothing against it, but like we don't really want everyone's like fast A4, unless it has like a VR6 turbo in it, or like something. Mm -hmm. Has to be unique. Unique, yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah. Also für alle, die es nicht verstanden haben, wir machen eine E-Mail-Adresse rein, die blenden wir jetzt hier rein. Wenn ihr ein Auto habt, was besonders ist, was, es muss nicht unbedingt das schnellste Auto sein, aber wirklich ein Auto, eine Motorswap, es muss auch keine Straßenzulassung haben. Und dann wird das Auto, a quarter mile race. Yeah against, also ein Viertelmeilerennen gegen ein anderes Auto antreten, was ähnlich ist. They will be in the power range pretty similar. Or weight. We make it so they're similar. So yeah. even if your car doesn't go nine seconds, if it's an 11 second car, we'll you, put you up against something different that's also like an 11 second car. Yeah. So it's a fun race either way. Yeah. yeah. And the people can show their car. Yeah. Show your car. Plug in your English. sponsors. Or you will learn German in the meanwhile? No. Also, das Ganze wird auf Englisch sein. Äh, könnt ihr eine E-Mail hier hinschicken und dann äh, habt ihr sehr viel Spaß. Ihr müsst nicht sowas haben und wenn ihr sowas habt, werden sie sich auch freuen. Bis die Tage. Say Tschüss. Tschüss.